Hi, I'm Mark LaBianca, and I'll be telling you about our experience working with IBM. Our assignment was to demonstrate the IBM AIX platform's ability to support Web 2.0 applications. We accomplished this with two applications. The GenAdmin tool, a graphical user interface for various commands and system statistics for the AIX machine, and the File Browser tool, which gives you a Windows Explorer type view of the files on the AIX machine. While the previous Newmont quarter had developed the original applications, our mission was to improve and add on to these applications. We were given documents of bug reports and a verbal slew of improvements, such as removing the IBM logo, which we compiled into an Excel document containing each task. The finished tasks we highlighted in green, while the ones we could not fit into our allotted nine weeks were highlighted in red. Using this specification, we completed 40 out of 43 tasks, which means this project was a success. We split our team into two groups, a gen admin team consisting of Brian Vegas, Danny Warren, and Grant Mickish, and a file browser team with Kristen Jones and me. First, we'll demonstrate the gen admin tool. When you first navigate to the gen admin URL, you will be greeted with a login page. Since this URL is accessible from anywhere, you will have to authenticate yourself to the machine. The username and password entered are then checked against the AIX machine's users and, if entered correctly, you will be allowed to go onto the application. Our most fundamental requirement was to make these apps Web 2.0, so the cool factor was always taken into consideration. This, for us, meant JavaScript. Everything from highlighting the button colors when you mouse over them to dragging the open windows across the screen was contained in these two JavaScript files with a combined total of 6,000 lines of code. The result, however, was an aesthetically pleasing application that was both easy on the eyes and functional. Let's take a closer look at that functionality, shall we? Clicking the File Systems button will display the results of the df-v command. Clicking the Volumes button will display the logical volumes on the machine. Clicking the Processes button will display all the processes and their individual information in one easy-to-access location. Clicking the Search Man button will search all the man pages on the machine and return the manual page for the command entered. The IOSTAT button reports CPU statistics, asynchronous input-output, and input-output statistics for the entire system, adapters, TTY devices, disks, CD-ROMs, tapes, and file systems. Clicking the Physical Volumes button will display information about a physical volume within a volume group. In the Physical Volumes menu, you can click one of the physical volumes to display information about that individual physical volume. Now back to that third button, the File Browser button. Let's have a look. The File Browser starts in the root directory. The left panel is dedicated to folders, while the right panel displays the files in that folder. Read correctly, this says that the root directory has these folders and these files. To see what files a folder has, simply click once on the folder. The right panel will update to show what files are in that folder. As you can see, SBIN is highlighted to show that this is the folder containing the files on the right panel. To go into the folder, double click it. The left panel will update to show what folders are contained here, and so forth. Your path is displayed at the top left and to navigate back up to the root, click the up arrow. All files and folders have three icons next to them, delete, rename, and move. Since we logged in via the gen admin tool, we are given all permissions to manipulate these files as we see fit. Rename opens a text box where you can enter a new name, whereas move allows you to type the path you want the file to move to. There are also a number of descriptions about the files on the right. The bottom panel has functions such as changing directory, creating a new directory or file, or changing the view of the application. We have also given this application full compatibility in IE and combined its login status with the Gen Admin tool. If you want to see more of these applications, feel free to have a look. They are currently at aixpart2.newmont.edu.